turn to Ali. We're going to see that morning ground. Yeah. Oh, we get turn to Ali. We're going to see the mighty ground. Yeah. Oh, we see the morning ground, baby. We're going to see that hoodoo queen. Oh, yeah, hit it, baby. It's your boy Webb right here. We're reporting live and direct from Southside, Minneapolis. We're right here in the hood, you know. Just chilling, you know. Um, what are you doing? You know, this is, you know, right now, this is not where we want to be at, you know. But it's, you know, we're going through something, you know. Everybody has issues in life, you know. And, um, you know, ever since uh, George Floyd and all that, you know, it struck something inside of me. I'm not going to speak for other people, you know. It took me in a spiral. Out of control, you know. Something, something happened inside of me. Where there was some things that I needed to take care of, you know. I didn't realize it was still inside of me, you know. And they came back out, and you know, and, and you know, I'm, I'm right here. I'm just blessed to be alive you know, with y'all right now, you know. And blessed with y'all in the moment, I'm trying to live the day. When, you know, we're right here, man. Just trying to, I'm trying to have fun, man. And trying to be happy, you know, and be grateful. Grateful to run into you too, man. You know, um, you know, it's good to meet new people. Hey, and shit. Good people and shit. Yeah, bro, bro, for sure. For sure. I, got you. I don't know where you spun off. My boy right here, my brother right here. Oh my god. We got, you know, you know, we got issues. Uh, a lot, a lot of issues. issues. I realize I got a lot of issues. You know, that, that keep me down. Uh, pride, uh, addiction. Addiction uh, is, is, you know, it. Not what I ever thought it was gonna be, you know. I didn't picture myself being 38 years old, being here, you know. Um, it happens though. I'm just grateful to be alive though. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Cause anything can happen. Cause I'm alive, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I lost uh, my home, my good job, uh, my family. But you know what? I can get it back. Cause I'm alive, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can walk on the street right now and run into somebody like you. You know, that, that changed my life forever in a good way, you know, because I'm alive. That's what keeps me not like uh, angry and full of hate, man. Because, oh, man, it's just like that. Easily, bro, because I, I, that's inside of me, bro. As, as you know, as, as much as I would like to lie about it and say, oh, yeah, uh, I'm not like that, you know. I, man, I could easily be like that, man, because I've lost a lot. And, and it's like, you know, and then when George Floyd happened, it started to uh, single us out, man. So it brought something that was in my childhood. I was uh, 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 rejected because, uh, you know, I was different. So whenever that happened to George, that, that opened up a wound that was, I mean, it was still there. I felt... you just to fucking get the fucking idea that you I know that dishonesty is a fucking problem in principle but like I'm more scared of you having lingering resentment towards me and everybody else who could be suspect that at this point like I would just tell you if I took it because I would be high hey that would be fucking nice to be high like Never retarded burden, and that everybody fucking plays along with me being like, uh, go on.
I'm listening. Anything that is. Anything, I'm listening. Anything more <laughs> or anything less than just somebody who you're stuck with. Because I'm too fucked up to take care of myself. And you shouldn't even fucking worry about being anything too fucking. Probably isn't the best fucking time. It's the to only look for. fucking time, dude. I don't know it. You know what I think, kid. It's addiction, man. You think, um, you know, it's not gonna be forever, you know. It's, uh, we just uh, wanted. To, we were just thinking about today. That's how I start. I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna get high today because I don't want to think about today, or, or I'm angry, or, or something, you know. Uh, and, and, uh, 10, 15, 20 years ago, and it's like, man, I got shit to do. Like, what, what's going on? I sat, sat down and told myself. What the fuck is going on with you, buddy? You know, like uh, uh, I talk to myself. Like some people journal or whatever. Like they, they whatever, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? Like to themselves, a letter to themselves or whatever. I was telling myself, like, bro, like, is this what life is? Is this really what life is, man? Is this what you want to die in a tent? Fucking, give you live to be 67 years old? Is this, is this how you're gonna go out, man? I told myself, no. Not how I'm gonna go out, man. Because you know what I'm saying, and I and I try to say like, how can I use this this what I what I messed up? How can I use this for good? I said, you know what? I, I can uh, go out to kids, tell kids that that start to go down that road and uh, full of shame and guilt, like I was. I was like, man, I let everybody down. I let my family down. I let everybody down. Shame and guilt. I could tell them, you know what, man? I was like you. I, I know what you're going through, man. You know, and, and I was able to flip it around. You know, and that's what I think I want to use what what happened to me in my life. You know, it, it's not a waste. And tell them, you know what? Because I was that kid in school that they would have pep rallies, and I couldn't relate to them because they didn't know they, they they had other issues, but not issues like me. You know, uh, growing up without my dad and. and and my mom's and stuff like that, man. Uh, growing up in a rough neighborhood. And I'd be like, man, you know what? He had a good message, but he don't know what my life, I couldn't relate to him, bro. So that's what I, that's what I was thinking about just yesterday, man. I was like, you know what? Cause I used to be that kid, like, you know what? Like, like uh, I didn't have no hope. I'd be like, you know what, man? Trust issues. Everybody in my life abandoned me, rejected. So when somebody come and try to be nice to me, I'm like, man, you know what? I, I uh, uh, close up, you know what I'm saying? There's something new that I'm, I'm, I'm doing is, is trust. Trust in people, and if if they do uh, uh, reject me or, or whatever the hell, you know, it, it's okay, you know? Learn how to deal with it, man. Learn how to deal with it. Uh, everybody has issues and be like, you know what? That person, you know, I'm learning that everybody was made for good. We just all made bad decisions because of life and our upbringing or whatever our, our issues were, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I'm able to uh, forgive and let others uh, forgive others that, that have done me wrong. And, you know, because I couldn't let go, bro. I was full of hate for my father. Uh, you know, uh, for people that, that, that you know, that that thing for dead that put a hit on me and just full of hate man full of hate and it did nothing for me man but times 20 years gone by and I'm still there like <laughs> chasing the dragon or whatever so, with the down. I guess I just had to let it out man I've just been a ball, holding that in bro for, for years man 
never, never spoke it out. You know how I felt. It's a blessing, bro. It's a sacred to be here on Walk His Planet, man. Even though I'm in a messed up situation, you know, um, because of my actions, the consequences of my actions, man. Uh, I lost my family because of the consequences of my actions, and now I gotta learn to deal with it and accept it like a man and be like, you know what? I messed up, and now I gotta deal with it. I can still be there for my kids. I used to be like, man, I'm never gonna have my family again, my kids, and this and that. You know what? I'm gonna never have my family again, but I can be there for my kids in the future, you know? When they need me for something, they need help with like a car or something, and dad could be, you know, got his shit going on, and be like, you know what, son? Look, bro, I wasn't there, you know, because my issues, it's not your fault, you know? It's not your fault, man. I had problems. Like, you know what? Like, I can help you out with this. You know, that's there's still a chance for me to do that. You know, be and help help my kids out. And learn. Now, I wish I would know what I know now, bro. When I was younger, and when, when I had my family, bro. Cause I, now the knowledge that I learned, bro. Uh, I wish I, I can deal with shit now. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to show that to my children. I want my children to show it to their children and to others. Five years from now, I'd like to see myself um, small goals. I'll go with small goals, uh, get my driver's license, and um, uh, doing, getting a routine. A routine, because right now it's like I don't have nothing to do, so I'm like able to do whatever I want. So have have a, a structure. Um, you know, going to school, um, getting my my um, uh, um, certificate for plumbing, going to a uh, trade school, and um, then uh, owning my own business with that trade. Once I save up the money, uh, have my own crew of guys to work under my license for uh, plumbing or electrical, and, and giving guys that were like me a chance, you know. Like that, that, you know, that messed up because you know a lot of people don't give them chances, you know. And I'm able to be like, you know what, bro, you you, you don't got no money or something, you know. I help you out. There's work for you, you know. Come to work every day, and then I know you got issues or whatever, you know. But let, let's try to improve as we go, you know. And, and I'll give you a shot, you know, and, and open opportunity jobs for people that, that you know. Like people pass by and look, they, they look at us and they're like, oh man, I can't depend on a person like that. But can they? You know, we we ain't reliable. I'm gonna speak for myself, you know. Because, you know, I'm out here you know, smoking a cigarette and, and, then, and then I'm gone. You know, and then they, they got businesses to run, you know, type stuff, you know, bills to pay and kids, you know, I just want to run a um, manage of myself. And this is the guy I have battle with every time, man. This guy in the mirror. It's my, my downfall. My pride, my, oh, I'm so smart. You know where smart got me, man? You know, because I was so smart. I had my own house. Uh, <laughs> Car, beautiful children, man, beautiful woman, uh, beautiful house, everything, man, but it's okay. You know, um, I'm going to get it back. I'm going to get a better house. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm alive. Back to that uh, wise man told me that. He said, bro, you alive, man. And I'm like, so? He says, well, bro, the, in the world, in the broad scheme of the world, it can happen. Think about it. He says, you, you, can, you can win the lottery. You can be president. Man. And just think about it. And I'm like, you know what? He said, you're alive. He said, uh, the kings in the past, they ruled the world, but they're no longer here. But you are. He says, so I'm like, that, that, I have to think about that like every five minutes because right away I want to be negative, bro. Right away, you know, it's part of me. Like, oh man, I, I hate my situation. But I tell myself, you know what? It's just gonna, it's not gonna do nothing for me to be negative. It's gonna make it harder for me. And it's gonna bring the aura out on others too. Everybody around me is gonna be negative. That's what we don't want. You know? That's what the enemy wants. They want us to be stuck, keep us down and down. And I know that um, it's gonna be uh, 2023. It's gonna be big year, man. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a fight for you know spiritual fight within us. Man. And it's gonna be a, a sink or swim. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna swim. To, to drown in us, in, in bro. We fighters, we survivors. We've been genocided. We ain't gonna let these drugs tear us down, bro.
man. We alive, man. I believe every single person out here is destined. We're gonna be. I believe in the future, there's gonna be. It's gonna be worse than this, bro. And they're gonna need people like us that have gone through this through a fire to pull others out. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're going through this right here. In the future, there's gonna be. It's gonna be worse, bro. There's gonna be. More harder drugs, more evil, more uh, people with big swelling, conniving words to trick us, you know. Uh, uh, Max, you know, they're gonna trick people into into whatever they're gonna trick people, and and they're gonna need people like us that have been through the fire to to show them the way out, man. Because if, if there's nobody to show them the way out, how how can they be shown the way out?